Hello, hello, welcome to the last video, yay! <laughs> We're getting there. Um, okay, so this one, I really, really, really wanna go over some, just some like extra tips and like what like a day-to-day -day kind of thing looks like, okay? That was one of my biggest struggles in the beginning is that I truly had no clue how to break down my day. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, so number one, time management. I kind of gave an example earlier on in this series of like how this differs from doing things in person versus social media. I think you're kind of grasping the fact that there's a lot of tiny details with social media, right? So you can make that decision of just doing in-person stuff and that's totally fine. You're going to have to keep your Facebook like on and active because we do so much training in our group and, and keeping posted with like current, you know, promotions and all of that. Um, but you can certainly do your actual business in person if you want to. Now, um, what would a day-to-day -day look like when you compare in person and social media? Okay. In person, let's say you're doing no social media building your business and it's just in person. Um, you're going to be looking at what events are near you. Okay. What vendor events are near you and you're going to book them. Um, you're going to see what team members can do it with you. Um, you're going to look at your calendar and figure out how many parties a week you want to do. Okay. I strongly suggest at least a couple a week if you're going to just do in-person stuff. Um, you're going to want to schedule some coffee dates, one-on-one -on -one coffee dates, meeting at Starbucks, because you're going to have people that are very, very busy or have not, like they're super shy. Okay. And so it just makes sense to meet for coffee. Um, you're going to be maybe going to people's houses. Um, for safety aspects, you can always meet at like a restaurant, like the back room of a restaurant, Starbucks, somewhere public is totally fine. Unless it's like your best friend, then go for it. Um, and then that's really like, you're just, you're doing these things in person. So you're going to want to have a little bit of product on hand eventually, um, just to make your life just a little bit easier. Um, I like having skinny wraps, keto coffee, my greens, fat fighters, anything that they can taste. Keto energy is a fun one. Um, but you don't have to have very much of any of it. Like you really don't. Um, but if you don't have anything, it's totally fine. Um, so, and then you're getting people to show up, right? I like to do incentives. So I used to do, um, whoever brings in most people get a free wrap. Um, but you can certainly turn that, that was before keto, the whole keto line was even announced. You can totally say, this is a coffee party. Come on over and try it out. Um, anyone that brings, you know, two, three people will get a gift basket. I don't even know, you guys. Um, but, so it's totally up to you how you want to do this. But the idea is that you're going to have to attract people to see you, okay? Um, but it's a lot simpler, Okay. Like you can do a, an hour party and get enough like people signed up in the hour that it might take somebody from social media to work like all week. Just saying. Okay. Now, social media, what is that going to look like? Okay. That is meaning that you're going to have to learn what your IPAs are each day. IPA stands for income producing activities. Okay, scrolling Facebook does not make you money. Okay, it is very difficult to kind of stay on path sometimes. It's like really easy just to scroll. Um, so this is blank amount of messages each day, blank amount of posts each day, blank uh, uh, amount of interactions each day, um, blank amount of adding each day, and then self-development. Now, what the freak am I talking about? Okay. You're going to want to message a certain amount of people each day. Like, if you're not messaging, this is the number one way that we make money. If you're not messaging on a day, you put a close sign on your business. Okay. Now, how many people do you message each day? Well, how much money do you want to earn? Like, if you have a small goal or you want to go really slow and steady kind of thing, then obviously you're not going to message as, as much as like somebody like a higher rank. Um, but if you're wanting, like, you don't have a choice, like you're going to lose your freaking house or your kids are going to be starving, then it makes sense that that number needs to be sky high. Okay. Like <coughs> 50, 100, 150 a day. That, that just depends on what your goal is with the business. Okay. And again, 
if you're getting them on the phone, FaceTiming, voice messaging, that's going to go faster than an actual regular message, just so you know. Um, so you need to know your, your amount of messages per day, okay? And this should be on a list, by the way. I actually have it as a screensaver on my phone. Um, and so blank messages. So put a number there. Um, blank post a day. Now, I already talked to you a little bit where you should probably at least have like four posts a day. Maybe you want to go a little bit more aggressive and have like six, seven, eight, okay? That's up to you, okay? Um, and then interacting. Remember how you printed off your Facebook list? Mm -hmm. You should be making friends with people, okay? What happens is the longer that you're in this business, you're going to start getting um, filtered in a way. Facebook just knows when we work our business. And so you're going to notice that maybe you have like 20 likes on something and all of a sudden you have like one like. It's because your interactions and the Facebook algorithm is all messed up. If you go live on your Facebook, you're going to get more those numbers up, okay? Um, if you go interact each day, a select amount of people, that will also help. Because what happens is that there's people that can't even see your post right now. Because Facebook thinks that you're not even friends with them, even though they're on your Facebook. It's the weirdest thing. So what you can do is as you're going through your Facebook list every day, you can select maybe 20 people, okay, a day where you're going and you're actually interacting on their posts. You're being friendly. The whole point of Facebook is to make friends, right? Um, it's like networking. So what do I mean by interacting with them? You're commenting on a, on a post, you're loving on a couple, you know, bare minimum, love on a couple or like do a, like a, what is that called? A laughing face or something. Don't do the like button. Okay, it's not weighed as heavy. So either the, the heart or a happy or, or a like mad or a sad face, okay? Um, and then comment at least on one. So I usually do two hearts and one comment per person, okay? Um, and you're gonna notice that those 20 people that you picked throughout the day is now looking and liking and loving on your posts because Facebook is like, oh, you know her. She's your friend. I'm going to show you their, your post to her now. It's the weirdest thing ever. Okay. Um, so you're messaging, you're posting, you're interacting, you're adding. You're adding. <laughs> Do you have 5,000 Facebook friends? The answer is probably no. If you have 50, 100, 200, 500, not even 1,000, oh my gosh, your, your network is really, really tiny. Okay. Yes. Use host to post but you need to be adding. Now remember, I taught you tricks with the host posts that everybody that's liking and commenting, you can add them as a Facebook friend. So these can actually connect, okay? Um, but if you weren't doing host posts for the day, which you should have been, um, then you're gonna be adding, okay? Now how I normally add freestyle is that I go on my friends list and I pick a friend that's not a distributor, freaking do not do that, okay? does not make sense for you to go to a sister distributor and go add her Facebook friends because then you're competing. That's just freaking weird. Okay. You're going on a random person. I have all ladies on my Facebook. That's my general like rule. Okay. That's up to you on how you want to do it. If you want to mix or not. <coughs> I go to a friend and I go to her friends and I add. Okay. My rules for this is that they're female that they're not flipping off the camera or smoking a joint or saying F you blank, whatever that they have a decent picture, okay? Now, why do I have those rules? Number one, I mixed guys on my stuff and it got complicated quick even though I'm married, okay? Um, so I just cut the whole thing out. Two, I don't want to, <laughs> if I have somebody that's interested in being a distributor, okay, I want less work on training them. Um, so basically, like if they're flipping off the camera and stuff, it's really difficult to go to the thing like, by the way, you need to stop doing that. And you know, it's hard, right? I would be, it's just so awkward. Um, or uh, maybe their pictures suck. Maybe they're like really blurry and stuff. Like I'm going to have to teach them how to take a photo. And so to me, I look at it like, well, I would rather just pick friends that is just less work in the, in the grand scheme of things. So it's totally up to you. You can add whoever you want. Do not do suggested friends, please. Do not. Okay. It, what usually happens is that it's distributors friends and then it's also people from other companies. I would also not do another company. You can if you want. 
I don't because I've had people try to steal my friends and try to steal my potentials. And I just think that's, that's silly. So um, that's my rule with adding friends. But it's so much easier just using people from host to post. Those that are liking and commenting on a host to post. Um, Self-development. Uh, I said it in the very, very first video and I did that on purpose. 80% of this business is mindset. Um, you are going to have rough days. You take away this business, you have rough days, right? Where you're just like, you're not having a good day. You woke up on the wrong side of the bed. You're cranky, okay? Maybe your kid pooped in the bathtub. Your dog bit somebody. I don't know, <laughs> right? You It's like there are days that are not going to go over too smoothly. Then you mix in this business and it's like, oh my gosh, what am I doing, Right? Or you get in your head that you're not good enough, not smart enough, not going fast enough, and you start comparing and all this. Like, it is a dangerous thing. And I'm telling you, do not underestimate the power of self-development. You can't. <laughs> or you will fail in this business. If you open a coffee stand up the street, you better bet that you are probably looking at videos, literature, books, Things on Facebook, Googling, YouTube to figure out how to run an effective stand. You know what I'm saying is true. So why would you not do the same thing with this business? Now, what counts as self-development? You can go on YouTube and follow the leaders that I had talked about. You can go on YouTube and follow inspirational speakers. And these, you guys, some of this stuff does not have to be long, like two minute video, 30 minute video, whatever. It depends on what's going on up here. Okay, and your time. Um, anything that is video related, you guys, time management. Like I have no time to sit my butt down. I just don't. I'm busy. I've got three kids, two dogs, a husband. Like my life is psycho. So you better bet that I try to practice time management as best as I can. So when I'm doing my self development, I will usually listen to a video when I'm making breakfast, doing dishes, cleaning the house, taking a shower, and driving. Excuse me. I don't waste time. Okay. Well, I probably do, but you know what I mean. Okay. So what other things counts as self-development? Praying, meditating, yoga, um, reading a book. Okay. I've got books all over my office. Uh, you can go to the library and make all of these free. YouTube is free. Okay. Does not have to cost money. If you want suggestions and books, um, there is, I want to say an album in our group that I started where it's some books to read. Okay. Um, that you can order off of Amazon or rent from the library. Okay. Um, but you have got to do self-development each day and mix them up. Okay. Praying every day. Yes, you should be praying every day. <laughs> um, but you've got to mix in some other stuff too. Right. So you're watching a video, you're doing an inspiration thing, you're reading a book, like, all of that. And you're going to notice that you're going to start getting more confident, more sure of yourself. Your business is going to take off when you have those off days that you're like, that's really not a big deal. Like, so what? Tomorrow's a new day, right? You're just going to grow into this very self-assured business person. It is amazing. Okay. Um, Self-development is a wonderful thing. So again, I strongly suggest you writing it on paper and having it wherever, but also maybe make it a screensaver or something and have your numbers that you want to do each day. How many messages are you going to do each day? How many posts are you going to do each day? Um, how many interactions are you going to do each day? Um, so your messaging, posting, interacting, adding, how many friends are you going to add each day? And then self-development. Now, host a post. I know this is going to come up and I didn't say a number. How many host a post do you do each day or each week? You're going to know <laughs> as these go because Sally's Facebook might blow up where one person and you are trying to respond to all these people and you're like, ah, okay. Um, or Sally's is crickets. And so you need to ask a few more people. Just judge it per day. Just know that obviously the more host a post you have up and running, the more your business is going to skyrocket, okay? And again, you can maximize where Sally is posting multiple times for you, okay? Don't do the same post, okay? Maybe hair, skin, and nails, a distributor one, a different version of hair, skin, and nails, right? Like switch it up. Um, 
Now, how do you manage your time? How do you even know when to work this business? You're going to have to look at the time available to you. Break it down. You can even literally put it on paper. What do you like? Like break it down by time spot. I wake up at this time. I make breakfast at this time. I go to work at this time. I get off at this time. You know what I mean? Like break it down. You're going to have spots. Okay. That's when you're going to work your business. Now, obviously you don't need to use all free time, but you're going to use a whole lot of it if you're wanting to make a whole lot of money fast, right? If you work currently, then you're going you're to have a bulk of the amount of stuff that you do on your off days. Now, should you be on your phone every day, all day? No. If you are, then you're working the business wrong. Now, I will say, though, that if you're sitting there watching Netflix all day, it's not making you money. So you technically should be working that. Now, what I normally do is that I have my IPAs that I have each day. Once I'm done with them, then I treat myself. Then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go watch a movie with the kid or something. Like I, I'm the second highest rank in the company. I'm way the freak up there. You guys, I do not work all day, okay? I love voice messaging because I can walk and talk, walk and talk. I'm like making breakfast for the kid. I'm voice messaging, you know, like my self-development, I'm in the shower, you know, like messaging, messaging should be the first thing you do each day after your self-development. Now in a perfect world, and I'm trying to master this myself, okay, is that I wake up and I am listening to my Christian music just to get my mind like, oh yeah, you know, and then the next step is I, um, I might like listen to a video in my shower or as I'm making breakfast. So like, I'm really like, yes, like I just feel good. I'm happy. I just feel so carefree. Okay. I'm going to eat and then I'm going to plant my butt and I'm going to message. Okay. Now you can make a quick little post. Just don't overthink it, please. Don't take an hour to make your post. Okay. Cause that's not time management. Okay. Um, use the DT examples, follow us leaders, see a good post and be like, Oh, I like that post. Switch it up. So you're not doing a direct copy and paste, put your own selfie picture on there and then make sure you're using your photo editing apps. Okay. And then put some of the same wording, tweak it up and then you can post it. Okay. But messaging is what's going to make you money. Talking to people is what makes you money. Okay. Um, one thing that I did not talk about, you can, you can work other social medias. So there's Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Okay. And yes, all of them work. It's just that don't use all of them. If you don't master all of them, try one first. Okay. Now, if you are really active in both Facebook and Instagram already right now, then work both of them. I wasn't. I had 50 Facebook friends and I had no Instagram when I first started. But Facebook, I'm more comfortable with. So I told myself, okay, I'm going to master Facebook. It'll be my baby. And anything I do with Instagram is just like extra. Like I don't put it on my shoulders. Like I'm like X, Y, and Z has to be done each day for Instagram because it's less stress that way for me. So, but I make sure I'm on point with my Facebook always. So you need to figure out which social media is your thing. Okay. If you're working Instagram, a lot of these are going to be the same thing. You cannot voice message in um, Instagram. It has to be just typed out. Just say no. Uh, you can still go live. You can still post. When you're posting in Instagram, it's just a tiny bit different because your pictures have got to pop. You should be putting a photo editor on all pictures on all social medias ever. Like, period. Okay. Um, two, with Instagram, I do patterns. I think patterns look really cool. Um, it's up to you how you want to do my, do your pattern. Mine is Picture, picture, quote, picture, picture, quote, picture, picture, quote. And it looks really cool on Instagram, okay? On both social medias, Facebook and Instagram, make sure that your profile is cool looking, okay? Your profile picture is your selfie, not your freaking cat. It's got to be your selfie and a clear image, okay? And then um, make sure you have a cool little bio at the very top. Um, and then... With Facebook, they have a really cool spot with featured photos. Make it look cool. Go look at mine. Mine is rad. It took a little while. So it doesn't have to be that fancy, but it needs to be like something that pops. Okay. I have friends that do all black and white. Like they do selfies, black and white with quotes that are black and white. It looks super cool. Mine is a cross. Um, so it's really up to you, but you want it like, so what happens is as you're, as you're adding to your Facebook, that's going to capture their attention. They're going to look, oh, that's a nice profile. Oh, I like their bio. Oh, I like their cover photo. Oh, I like their featured photos. Yep, I'm going to I'm going to accept that ad. 
Now, if you have a blurry profile picture of your cat, uh, a blurry cover photo, no bio, your feature photos is a whole bunch of before and afters, they're not going to accept you. And if they do, I'm going to be surprised. Do not have it works plastered onto your profile on either of them. Nothing, nothing to do with the company. Okay. You're limiting your audience by doing that. You are a real person. Okay. And they need to know you as a person and then the business stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, and I think that that's really it. You guys, like there was a lot to it, right? I am not perfect. And as these series goes, like I'm probably forgot something. Okay. I'm just here to mentor and teach and try to do the best I can. Always, always, always. Um, but you are your own boss. Like I had none of this, none, zilch, nada, nothing. Okay. It was all trial and error. You need to be gentle with yourself. You are going to be told no. You are going to have negative Nancy's. You're going to have people that is closest to you knock this business and make fun of you. You are going to have bad days. You are going to have um, failures. You're going to fail a lot, but just fail forward. Okay. Um, but you've got to be gentle with yourself. This is a full on business. Even if you started a regular job at like Target or something, you are not going to have a perfect day every day. That's silly to even think like that. You're going to make someone cranky with you. You're going to beg something wrong. You're going to drop something and crack it. You're going to have bad coworkers, right? Like nothing is perfect. Nothing. But what is beautiful about this business is that you are your own boss. You get to pick your schedule. You get to pick what you want to make each month. That is insane. Insane. And you're starting this business for a reason. Do not ever forget the reason why you started. Do not use it as an excuse to stop. Oh yeah, my kids are crazy. I'm just gonna stop this. Well, you're still broke. That doesn't make no sense. Like, do you really, really wanna get a second job somewhere else where it takes you away from your family? You're set in minimum wage. You're working with coworkers that are jerks or lazy. Like, it doesn't even make sense. At your fingertips is the door open to anything that you can possibly, like, want. But it is different. And you are going to be fighting the grain because it is different, okay? We've been around for 18 years. We are IRS regulated. We, if, and, I, and I say, go compare, okay? You can go compare all you want with another network marketing company. We are the best of the best. I don't care what anyone says because we have products that nobody in the world has and that it's hard to have, okay? We don't have to compete against this grocery store up the street. We don't have to compete against another company. We have one of the best compensation plans in the entire world. We're open in 22 countries and counting. We're about to launch in Mexico. That by itself is freaking huge, okay? Um, I'm just like, I just, I'm obsessed. And then know who your CEO is. You will notice right off the bat that they are the most down to earth, humble, like big hearts. We, they are so into getting debt free for everybody and giving back. And that is so near and dear my heart. Now, our actual team that we have, you will notice from the get-go that we are very different also, okay? There are other teams elsewhere that isn't as great as ours. That's just the way it is. Um, I spoil the crap out of my distributors in here because I can, right? Like part of giving back, like I love what I do. I love teaching, I love mentoring, I love pouring into you guys. I love changing lives. 15 years I spent in the medical field as a radiology supervisor, 15 years. And I have helped more people in my team in the last three years than in those 15 years combined. You know, I retired my husband 10 months in. I retired myself six months ago. I gave up two college degrees and a $50 an hour job to do this business full time. Because I know in my heart and my soul that I am in the right spot, the right time, at the right moment, all of that. I love, love what I do, okay? And it is really difficult to find something that you have so much love for something to do. And I'm like, I'm like how is this my job? And I have made so many lifelong friends in here. Oh my gosh, they are beautiful people, my best friends. I didn't expect that. I'm an introvert, I'm shy. You guys, I started with 50 Facebook friends. I'm from a small town of 3,000. I moved away. I was a teen mom, like petrified of people. 
I had a full blown phobia of public speaking, you guys. And I just love that this is so much more than a paycheck. I grew into a person that I'm just like, wow, like, who are you? <laughs> you know, like I was on a couch, the white couch, which was on my dream board, um, speaking to, you know, 1500 people, somebody that's scared of people. And I was able to do that. That is the beauty of this business. Like it is so much more than what you think, but I'm telling you right now, you have got to have the no quit attitude. You need to have grit. You need to have work ethic. Okay. There is nothing more frustrating for me personally than having somebody sign up and not even try. Like why waste your time, your money, my time and energy, like, or whoever you signed up with? Like, why even bother? Like, that doesn't even make no sense. Like, not even to try. I told myself from day one, I'm like, I have no clue what I'm doing, but I will not quit. I will figure this out no matter what. And just keep going. Okay? And there were some rough days, but I'm telling you, it is all worth it. You better bet. You better freaking bet that being home with my kids all the time is worth it. Having my husband back when he was breaking his back at work, like he was literally breaking down. Like he tore his Achilles. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, like there were so many rough moments in, in, in all of this. Like, you know, we were on the brink of bankruptcy, 200 and something thousand dollars in debt. Like our life was crazy. I would give up dinner so that my babies could have more to eat. You know, like life sucked. <laughs> there was no easy button to this. I had not a single person want to support me in this. My own husband was against it. He said it was fake and a scam, you guys. But guess what? I knew that there were successful people out there. And I'm like, man, if they can figure it out, I can figure it out. Right? I love when people tell me that I can't do something because I'm going to go do it. Just saying. So please dig deep. Use the tips and tricks taught in here. Know that you're going to fall a lot, but just get right back up. Okay? Don't forget your self-development. <laughs> Um, and do not be a stranger on Messenger, okay? Whoever enrolled you, whether it's myself or another, we don't like the quiet crickets at all because then we don't know how to help, okay? So again, you're your own boss, but we want to be able to help you where we can. We just can't read your mind. <laughs> all right, well, have fun. Um, keep alert in our group. There's always extra contests, always, always, always. Um, so, and I will always announce them at the beginning of the month or throughout the month. So, um, make sure that your notifications for the group is turned on because if not, you're not going to know what the freak I'm talking about. Um, and just have fun with this, you guys, when you sign up a distributor self, please tag them on these series, uh, the series of videos. Um, and I really, I hope this helped. Okay. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.